Is selling your home online a good idea or should you use a traditional real estate agent to list your home, have showings, and then get it sold? Well, to answer the question, I have a simple metaphor to share with you. Imagine there is a stair step and if you take three steps, there's a prize after those three steps and you can stop walking up those steps and take that prize now or you can take three or four additional steps and choose to take a more valuable prize, a bigger prize, a prize that's worth more to you. That is the difference between selling a home online or selling a home with a real estate agent. Selling a home online, it's a lot more convenient. It's a little easier, there's less steps involved, but there's more costs and the net proceeds to you are going to be less. Or you could keep taking those steps, do a little bit more work. By selling your home through a traditional real estate agent, you're going to get more proceeds from the sale of your house. Now to explain this in further detail, I'm going to talk about three main things between selling your home online or selling your home in the traditional sense. The first thing is the experience. Yes, there are fewer steps involved when selling your home online compared to trying to sell your home on your own or with a traditional real estate agent. You see, when you sell your home online to an I buyer, you're not trying to find a buyer. You do not have to show your home. You do not have to get it fixed up. They buy your home as is from you and then later they sell it to somebody else. This allows you to get the cash quickly, to not have to worry about showing your home, to not have to worry about fixing things up, and it's done. But here's the thing, those iBuyers, those online companies, they are buying your home for less than what the home is worth because they have to turn around and sell it to somebody else later on. As a result, they're building in some profit. That is extremely convenient. Even the paperwork that you have to sign when selling your home through an online real estate company, it's just a whole lot easier. It's less intrusive in your life. Now, when you sell a home with a real estate agent and anybody who's done this before knows exactly what I'm talking about, it can be frustrating. There's a few extra steps that are involved. You have to make sure that your house is in sellable condition. You have to clean things up. You have to make sure that your home is ready to show. And if somebody wants to come see your home when it is for sale, you have to leave your home so that they can view it, walk through it and see if they want to buy it. This is a process. There are sometimes additional conversations and contracts and paperwork that you have to go through when selling your home through a traditional means with a real estate agent, finding a buyer, and then selling it. And that process does take time, not only to get your home ready to find the buyer, but the buyer in most cases has to qualify with financing and that is a process. It can take several weeks. It just takes a little bit longer. So. When you compare convenience, selling your home online through the I buyers, as they're called, through the traditional real estate route, it's very, very different. All right, let's talk about costs. When we talk about costs with real estate, there's two areas that you wanna focus in on. These are fees that you have to pay to engage in this real estate transaction, but then there's also the net proceeds from the sale. What's the house gonna sell for and how much is gonna go in your pocket as a result? Now, traditional real estate agents, they typically charge about 6% to sell your home. Your agent gets three, the other agent gets three. Now, those fees are what would be called standard in the traditional real estate environment, but sometimes those fees can be negotiated. And we'll talk more about negotiation later on in this video. Now, the fees associated with an online iBuyer are different based on the company that you're working with and gonna be different based on the contract. Here's the truth the bottom line that you need to recognize. The fees associated with selling your home online are higher, yes, higher, than selling your home through a traditional real estate agent. And this was surprising to me because I would think that if I'm selling my home online and there's less steps and things that are involved, well, I'm not gonna have as many fees. It's, it's quicker, it's simpler, so there's less things that are needed, so I get to pay less but that's not the truth or the reality. Here's something you need to watch out for. It doesn't look or feel like the fees are higher, but the net proceeds, the amount of money that's given to you when the sale is done, 
is going to be less through an online real estate agent versus the traditional real estate agent. Speaking of net proceeds, selling your home online is going to net you less money because an online iBuyer is buying the home from you at a below market value. This is a fact. You're not going to get the most for your home when you're selling your home online through an iBuyer. If you use a traditional real estate agent, they're going to try and maximize the total amount that your home sells for. And they're going to do that by way of a multiple listing service or recruiting other buyers, other real estate agents to come and look at your home. You will get at least fair market value in most cases for your home by selling it in a traditional sense. You're going to get below market value when you sell your home online or through an iBuyer. So what do you need to know as it pertains to costs? iBuyers cost more and you sell your home for less money. Traditional real estate agents cost less and you sell your home for more. This means traditional real estate agent means more money for you. Online or iBuyer means less money for you. Now, before I get into the third and final step comparing these two options, one thing that's important to note is that your experience and the convenience and the cost associated are going to be different depending on the market. As an example, we are currently in a very heavy seller's market. In a seller's market, that difference I just talked about, it might not be as noticeable, right? But in a buyer's market, that difference might be even greater. And as far as convenience is concerned, well, right now, because it's a seller's market, working with a traditional real estate agent might feel a lot more convenient than working with a traditional real estate agent in a buyer's market. The time that you're gonna have to wait to get that home sold and all the other things associated with selling your home, they're gonna be cut down drastically. Now, if you're starting to get confused right now as I talk about a seller's market or buyer's market, that's actually a really great reason why you should not work with an online company because the real estate agent, I'll talk about this later, they work for you and they can educate you and help you understand between the differences in the current market you're in and walk you through that at another level. If you're looking for more information on the difference between a buyer's market and a seller's market, check out this video over here. All right, the last point is motivation. This is the big, big difference between working these two situations when selling your home. One of these scenarios, the traditional real estate agent, they work for you. They are a fiduciary required to work in your best interest. Then the iBuyers or the online sellers, they are required to work for their investors. They are not required to represent you, negotiate for you, or work in your best interest. And in most situations, you are unable to negotiate with them on their fees or the sales price or the contract details. What you see is what you're going to get. It is all templated out. But when you work with a traditional real estate agent, you can sometimes negotiate a lower fee. You can negotiate different terms within the contract and you can set things up to be slightly more favorable in your direction because it's less cookie cutter. Yeah, there are some templates involved, but customization can be done. The bottom line difference here is one works for you and is required by law to put your interests first. Whereas the other situation, they work for their investors themselves and they're kind of almost competing with you. They're trying to do a transaction with you rather than a transaction for you. All right, so what's the bottom line here? The iBuyer, the online real estate companies, they are trying to get your home for as little as possible. They're buying the house from you. And the less that they buy that home for, the better off they're gonna be financially. Now, is that wrong? Is that bad to use an online iBuyer? No. Maybe that convenience is extremely valuable to you and your life and your certain situation. Maybe you need the funds for the sale of this home right away. Maybe your life situation does not allow for you to take some of those extra steps. 
that's fine. All you're doing is exchanging that value or that money that you might receive for a different experience that your life requires. As a whole, you're going to get more money if you sell your home through a traditional real estate agent. And as a whole, you're going to have a quicker experience if you sell your home online. I'm not here to say one is right or one is wrong, but now you know the three main points that can help you decipher which one is right or wrong for you. So stewardship is not somebody who really has a dog in this fight. We don't have a horse in this race. We're not a real estate company. We're just sharing with you the information that we have from a professional perspective. And if you found this information valuable, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you can hear about all the other wise and loving financial advice we share right here on a weekly basis.